Welcome to another edition of App of the Week. Today I'm going to show you um, Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a um, video uh, option that will allow you to deliver content to your students. Um, but it makes your videos interactive. It gives you the ability to add narration to a video. It gives you the ability to add questions for students to respond to as they watch the video. So it gives you that option where students can be more involved in the uh, the instruction as opposed to just sitting and watching. So um, there is an app for it in the Chrome Web Store. So when you click on the Chrome Web Store, if you just did a search for Edpuzzle, you would be able to find the app in there. When you click on the app, it essentially takes you to um, the website um, for Edpuzzle. So I'm just going to click on the app. This is what it will look like here. So when you click on it, it'll bring you up to the site. Now, um, <clears throat> um, so I'm going to click up here in the login screen on the login button and I'm going to select teacher. Um, and now if you want to, you can create an account here or log in with your Edpuzzle account or you can just sign in with your Google account. That's generally what I do. Um, so I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. Um, no, no extra uh, email or passwords for me to remember. I can just use the Google one that I've always been using. And there I go. So now I can, like I said before, you can create classes in Edpuzzle. Um, and that will allow you to monitor progress of your students as they're moving through your lessons in Edpuzzle. Um, so um, if you wanted to, you could click invite and then you could go over here and um, use this information to invite your students to a class. I'm just going to skip this um, part for now and I'm going to just develop some content. So I'm going to go up here to my content to begin creating my first video. Um, and now once I get here, it's going to pull up videos that um, ones I've already done. Here's one that, that I've completed. I um, mean, here's one that, that I've done before. So um, when I go over here, if I want to create a brand new one, I can um, hover over create and you see I have options to find a new video. This will allow me to search for a video or I can upload a video. So if I have something that's on my computer already, I can just upload it um, using this option as well. So I'm just going to select new video to do a search and you'll see over here I have several different options in terms of um, sources that it will do a search within so if I wanted to use a Khan Academy video I could do a search for that if I wanted to find something on Vimeo I could find something on here too so but for right now I am just going to use YouTube as um, one of our options up here and I am going to uh, find um, one of our, our, our YouTube videos that we've done for CMS Learns Network. So I'm just going to type in IT Weekly. So I'm going to type in IT Weekly Protect, and then you'll see here my IT Weekly Protect episode that we did uh, will appear here. So I'm just going to click on this to use this particular video. So I'm going to say, say use it. And now I have my four sections that I'm just going to walk you guys quickly through to use Edpuzzle. The first section um, allows me to crop the video. So if I wanted to shorten the video from either the beginning or the end, um, I can drag this over to trim the video so that it, it starts at, um, at, at a certain point. Maybe I don't want it, I don't need to see the very beginning. I can trim this video down so it just starts from a certain section. Um, or I can do the same thing from the other side. Um, if, I, if I don't need to see certain parts of the ending, I can trim this down so that um, the uh, ending that doesn't show here as well. But, the, but, but that, that trimming section allows me to cut the video at different points. So um, just those sections that I want to be uh, visible will be visible to my students. Um, I can go here and I can um, hit play does, and then it'll play it from there. Um, from there. And, and, and if that's not exactly where you want it to be, you can move it back some, but and you can adjust it as you see fit. Um, but once you have it ready, you can move on to the next section, which, which is the audio track. So once I go up here and I click the audio track, you'll notice it's going to go up here to the saving, and now it's saved. And now I'm on the audio track section. Now, the, what you have to remember for, for this particular one is that if you add an audio track to this, it has to play. You have to play this for the entire video. So. Um, if I wanted to put um, so, uh, maybe a music selection to, to go be behind this or something like that, um, I could um, record this just by hitting this microphone and it'll pick up the sound, And um, but you have to let it go for the entire the entire video. So that's just something to, to, to remember. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to skip this one. 
Um, but you can always click on this show me how and that will explain how uh, each section works, particularly this one with the audio track. So uh, jumping to the next section, I'm going to go to audio notes. Um, and this is where I can begin adding the narration that I was telling you about. So uh, at different points of the video, I can add um, my thoughts or, or, or emphasis for different things um, so that my students can hear my voice and hear my thoughts um, and my key points that I wanted to add into the video. So all I have to do is move this to different areas or let this play. But this is the best I can find. Well, I see you think very highly of yourself and at least someone does, I guess. But this week we I can move this to different sections. Just make sure. And then I can click here. And now it's recording my voice. And now this this um, text, or this information that I'm saying will be heard by my students as a narration. I can hit the stop button here. And now there is my narration. Um, if I need to at any point in time, I can always remove all notes or I can remove the current note that I have. Um, but if it's if it's okay, then I can keep uh, going from there the and move to, to different sections. I can okay, click well, here. Rights and responsibilities. Um, let's find a good spot. So here, again, just by clicking it, I'm adding another note, um, and I can tell my students: make sure you pay attention to this key point that the, that the um, video was talking about. It's going to be on your test coming up on Friday. And I can hit, I can hit that um, stop button, and there's another note, and I can continue adding notes all throughout the video. Um, and if I needed to. Uh, I can go back and take a listen to it to make sure that it plays correctly. So I'm just going to hit you mean play. Like privacy or the responsibilities when they interact online? Both, both actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I have my moments. So, what type of responsibilities should teachers make sure? Uh, Click here, and now it's recording my voice. And now this this um, text, or this information that I'm saying will be heard by my students as a narration. I can hit the stop button here. Uh, uh, so as you can see, you heard my, my narration at that particular point. The video stopped. And you heard my voice come up, and then my students can hear me and hear my voice. So that's adding the, the, the notes. And this last part is adding quizzes. So if I wanted to um, add questions for my students to respond to, I can do so. It works similar to the way we did the um, the voice notes. We can just play the video, and, 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 and it'll go to a certain section, or we can or we can drag to a certain sections, and I can. Um, click the question down here and I can ask I can um, ask a question here whether it be an open-ended question um, a multiple choice question or I can just leave a comment here so I can I, I can have different options up here so I'm just going to type in what icons do you see in Um, and then I can hit save, and now that that question is in there. And I can hit continue. And so now there's my question in here, and I can again continue to do the same thing, and I can add more questions up here. And I can add a multiple choice question here. Like you can see when you add the multiple choice questions, here's the different options. Here, if you want to add multiple, um, you know, more than the two responses here. Uh, and then you can check off which one is going to be correct and which one is incorrect. For the sake of time, I'm just going to hit finish. Once you have all your questions and all your notes in there, you can hit finish. And now um, it can give me options to, I can assign to my class. So if I wanted to share this with the class, um, I could do that. Um, or I can share this with anybody it's just by giving them this link or I can make this available through an embed code and um, I can put that maybe on my Canvas page or on uh, maybe a website or something like that. So that's Edpuzzle. That's how you can make video uh, content delivery interactive for your students. Um, it is a free app that is available in your Chrome web store.